so I am going to make a brain loading test tube. So I have my test tube, I have some um, sodium carbonate, some uh, universal indicator, I have two molar ethanoic acid, I have some water, and I have some uh, four molar ethanoic acid. So the first thing that I need to do is to put half a spatula full, half a spatula full, so not a huge amount um, in my test tube, so it's at the bottom there. Then I need to add two centimetres cubed of water. So I have a pasta for pets and these have measurements on the side. So I can add my two centimetres cubed of water to that. Okay. The next thing I need to do is add a few drops of universal indicator. One, two, three, there we go, a few drops of universal indicator. We can see that it started to change colour. Then I need to drizzle a small amount of ethanoic acid in there. So I've got my 4% um, ethanoic acid. I'm just going to add that in there carefully. You can see it's starting to fizz. I'm adding in easiest really slowly. Otherwise, um, it's not going to work. Now I need to add some two molar ethanoic acid as well. And gently shake it. So I'm going to make a rainbow in a test tube. I need some um, sodium uh, carbonate, I need some water, I need some universal indicator, some 4% ethanoic acid, and I need some uh, 2 molar ethanoic acid. So the first thing we need to do is to put half a spatula full into our tube and make sure that goes right down to the bottom and none of it gets stuck to the um, sides of the test tube. And then it, now to, you need to add some water to the test tube. If you can see I'm just carefully running this down the side so that I don't disturb the, um, I'm really slowly dropping it down the side, so I don't disturb the powder Oops. in the bottom there. You have to be really, really patient when you're doing this. I'm just going to put a bit more water in there. So we have a nice base of water at the bottom. This experiment really requires quite a lot of patience. Then we need to add in a few drops of our universal indicator. So one, two, three drops of our universal indicator. You can see it's starting to change colour. So we now need to drizzle in a small amount of 4% ethanoic acid and again really carefully, try not to disturb the layers that are starting to develop. I'm just going to run this very slowly, very patiently, down the side. Okay, so we now need to put in some ethanoic, two molar ethanoic. Pop that on top. And give it a shake. And <clears throat> um, so I am going to make a rainbow in a test tube. I have some um, sodium carbonate, I have some uh, universal indicator, I have some water, and I have some 4% ethanoic, I have some uh, T molar ethanoic. Um, so I'm going to make a rainbow in a test tube. For this I need some uh, sodium carbonate, I need some universal indicator, I need some water, 
I need some 4% uh, ethanoic acid and I need some 2 molar ethanoic acid. So, if I just add a small amount of the uh, sodium carbonate into the bottom of my test tube, like this, I need a nice clean test tube, I need some water in there like that, I need some few drops of universal indicator, I need some ethanol, Ooh. and here is one we prepared earlier.